Okay, much love to you all. Let's browse and back at you once uh, one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favor and hope the same for you. And you know, much love to you always. Uh, blessings, love, and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been, you know, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And if you are a returning sub, grown extended family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. And um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, have not already, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, um, you know, if you feel like the videos just really gave you a good vibe or you can really truly resonate with it, please give a thumbs up and share. Send me so much love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies towards your way. Anything that you're really going through to get to. Send me so much love towards you and beautiful vibes just for you to keep continuing. Don't give up. You know, you keep moving. You know, your projection is your beautiful reflection. So just keep doing you. Okay. And the video I'm doing today, I'm just, you know, just shooting out different t content and just... Usually, y'all know I keep it written down, but it's just like your your silence speaks loud volumes. You know the power of being silent. You know, maybe been that person. You know, you ever heard that thing? You know, stop with the introductions and get straight to the announcements. <laughs> you have to be able to do that. Moving in silence. Not everybody needs to know what you're doing to point A to point B to point C. You know, there's a lot of different things that's transpiring where you may feel like, you know, uh, different energies really are really seeing you you know really really seeing you and there's a lot of times that you know people project they be projecting a lot of things on you they see your strength you know only because it triggers their weaknesses you bring out the worst in a lot of people <laughs> you don't realize that and i tell you right if you're a hayoka you know just a hayoka super empaths and all those different things and it's like with us it's like everybody shows some kind of truth and everywhere i always feel like everybody is a mirror of a lot of things there's either there's people that are needing to be in your life because a lot of times people will say, you know, people you connect with, even when it's bad, it can project the part of you that's hidden. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. It could be, or it'll be something that you have that vibe that they truly need it. You know, um, there'll be different things that never, you know, you may have gone through different parts of your life where you felt resentment or regret. Don't ever feel that, you know, especially if you're that person that has a heart of gold. You know, you could have been that person that really was very sweet. You know, there was a lot of times, you know, I just did a video the other day talking about you, you're you a, a blessing. There was, there was a blessing in disguise in a lot of ways, you know, um, and you're a gift. You're very rare. There's not a lot of people that come out like you. There's not a lot of people that's built up like you. You had to go through a lot of, a lot of things into your life. And even when you have gone through a lot of things, it really can bring out the best in you. It can really bring out the worst in you. Could have been a person that was always neglected. But then you, even if you didn't experience love, you always wanted to be able to create it into your own self. And then sometimes it could have been the wrong choices. But then there's also a lot of times where you brought it out in the most beautiful ways. You know, you could have been a person where... You didn't have that mother image in your life. So it's never showing you how to be motherly, how to be, you know, uh, consoling, nurturing and stuff like that. But in, in toxic ways or, you know, very low vibrant ways, you know, you had to be able to learn these different things. It was just like this was a path that was set for you because it was going to give you that. It, it was going to be that seed. It was going to grow to something better. But you had to really go through all these different things and you're moving in silence. And it's like, how is this going on with this? It's going hey, it's going it, it, it's going it's going to percolate into what I'm talking about. I was like, Rosalyn, you don't and no, I'm getting all these downloads the way I'm supposed to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it'll be a lot of different things you may have gone through in life where you didn't have the best childhood, you didn't have the best upbringing. There's a lot of people that had the best upbringing and most, you know, hey, you had that support system, you, you know, and all those different things. But there's a lot of people that are out here that didn't have that. And there's a lot of things you had to be able to go through, so, you know, and you've been with me for a while. You hear me talk about a lot of things, a lot of things that it was hard for me to digest. There was a lot of things that I was programmed to be ashamed of, you know, um, not, you know, always worrying about judgment. And this is that point in my life where it's just like, I don't worry about how people judge me. I don't worry about how people perceive me. If I know I'm coming out real, it's either you're going to digest that and really appreciate it or it's going to be something that's going to trigger you and you're going to move on or try to use it against me. Either or, it's, it's still not going to stop how I move on myself and still going to not silence me or not keep on continue to move through my truth. It's not. Um, but there will be a lot of different things that I talked about and um, that I've gone through that are not the most proudest things that I've gone through. But it just it had to be able to be at that point where you know, I had a very toxic uh, child upbringing, went through a lot of different abuse in all different forms. But when I, it was coming to my point where I normalized that, 
and then just really allowed myself to really change how I did things. You know, it would be just, you know, I would be just open book to just anybody, you know, and that's not a good thing to be like that because there's a lot of times people can see something beautiful into you before you can. Because, you know, a lot of times, like, you know, you, you, don't, you doubt yourself or you're not really confident. You're a very beautiful person. It's just like you have this natural ability where people just gravitate towards you and you have that light within yourself. And it would be those different things that, you know, it, it can really bring out a lot of toxic, damaging people towards your way. To where it's just like, Dad, why do I keep on attracting these sociopaths, psychopaths, these narcissistic people? They say this, maskers, all these different things. And it's just like you are that thing that you were you had different dark assignments placed on you like this person cannot find out who that person is this person can't really understand the core of them to where they really have this hidden power they can really uh, project the change out in the world that's really needed today but you had to go through the rough you had to go through the trenches and it, it, it led you to the throne okay and you had to really be able to go through that and it's just like you know it's like with my situation, I said I'm not going to be that type of person where, you know, that was my path. Whatever got me here, it, it started me on my path, but I have to be able to create. You the author your own book. You can decide, is this going to be a romance? Is this going to be a science fiction video? You know, I, sorry, I said video, science fiction book. You know, it's going to be a bestseller. It's going to be a Pulitzer, you know, but you, you don't create that. You're the author. You, you write a new page every day. You can allow yourself to be still, be on that stagnant part of what brought you here. It could have been very tragic. Or you can use that as a catapult to say, you know what? I've been through so much abuse. I went through so much neglect. I was abusing myself. You know, I allowed things to go on in my life where I truly doubted my worth you know i didn't love myself i didn't do these things i allow allow people to take advantage of me i just let anybody in that was my story <laughs> you know that was my story there's a lot of people that can really relate to that but it's like real recognize real you know you can allow that to be that point in your life where you can be able to see you know this is the thing that you know the devil was really scared that you might find out about yourself i had to be able to go through that you know you had to be that thing in the bloodline to where it was like you were always been that person that was a sacrificial lamb. You were the black sheep of the family. You you bold you you bold enough to be that one that has that that energy that's creating to be the goat baby. You really are. But you had to be at that point where you had to let God show him. You know you ain't gotta say nothing. Just let it be seen. You know your energy speak before you do. And you know when you get to that point into your life where you stop announcing things and it'll be just like you know i had to learn through especially through here you can't be announcing a lot of stuff you got people that talk about you know people that talk about me they talk about me word from mouth word from mouth and either there are going to be people that are going to come in and they're going to be on that low vibe of what the people want to convince them of or it'll be something they're going to like oh that person speak truth or that person standing up for themselves. They got boundaries, you know. They really, really speak it on something that really triggers that person or trigger these individuals or cr trigger this community. And they really just didn't want that person to know. And it's like, oh, okay. Now I'm really understanding why they didn't want that person to do that. And it's just like, you know, um, it'll be that point where you, you always announced yourself on different, oh, oh you know, I'm about to, you know, you know, start this new business up and the next you know you're trying to find out why you know you lost interest on this or why you know the people that were supposed to work with you don't want to work with you anymore or why uh you know you decide you, you just really lost interest on it and you really lost faith in this can create something you have to be able to you know some things you got to keep to yourself don't announce something until it's like concrete okay just really concrete to where this is something that's going to come out and it's just like, dang, you know, you you been usually you telling me about different things about this, you know, um, and you didn't tell me this time. Yeah, you had to be able to understand there'll be different people that are just breathing. You you breathe in some beautiful energy, and people don't want to see something come out for you. So you have to be that point where you got to be quiet. Your power in silence. I said that's the most powerful thing you can ever have is in silence because there's a lot of people that are being curious about you. Because they're trying to understand, oh, this person really knowing their worth. They're really putting up boundaries. They're actually saying no without having to explain why they're doing this, why they're doing that. It's just like, I don't have to explain that to you. If you ain't my mother or my boss, I shouldn't have to explain this to you. If you're not my spouse, you know, and I mean a spouse that is really on that ultimate partnership with you. They want to see you grow. They want to see things transpire into your life that's going to make bloom out something where y'all both invest in each other. I'm not talking about that one because we can have them karmic spouses too. There'll be different people I worked with like, hey, you know, I understand that's your spouse and everything, but you about to be doing something big. And it's just this person, you know, if they always shut you down or they never believed in your, your dreams or always try to, you know, breathe fear and doubt into your different things, these are the ones that are showing you this is supposed to be an example for you. 
to create something better for you. That, that, that wasn't supposed to be your kingdom spouse. So there's a lot of things you even got to keep from that. Or hell, even keep it out of your family. You know, there'll be different ones that, you know, there's a lot of people that are picked out of these, you know, these families. And when you bow, you get a general, generational curse breaker, you're going to talk a lot of mess about you. <laughs> you breaking generational curses. So, of course, they're going to sit up here and be trying to breathe stuff in there, praying that you, you do not understand the truth about you. Because they do. They know that. They try to keep it hidden from you. So these are the different things you have to really be quiet about. And it'll be sad because it'll be just like, Dag, I'm always that person that's always congratulating people. Whether it started off or this is something they kept to themselves and they're really manifesting something beautiful into their life. Or, you know, I've been that type of person where somebody tell me about some stuff and I'll add on some, hey, go add this to me. Like, Dad, Rosie, you right. I should have did that. Or I was thinking about it and I just needed that confirmation and you just brought that in. I'm a type of person because I know. You know, I've seen a lot of people that plant some daggone seeds of doubt and fear into my situations, and I talk ahead of myself, and I end up messing up and saying, Dad, why this didn't work out for me? Because that person didn't want that working out for you. But they always know it's like anything that you, you touch glitter goes gold, okay? And you had to be able to go through that. But for you to be able to go through that, you had to really go through a lot of hardships and a lot of hardships. So you had to be able to understand everybody can't be trusted. Trust your instinct. Trust your gut. If something's telling you, hey, there'll be different times you may shoot a text out and you really talk about some beautiful stuff. And they see another person like, hey, I ain't get the text. And it may be something the universe telling you, I, 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 you don't need to be telling this person that. Because if you end up telling them, you know, this is going to be somebody who's going to just wreck all this down. Everything that you build, they're going to try to wreck it down because they know if they can't benefit with it or they don't want to see you grow, they're going to try to destroy this. You got to be moving in silence because there's a lot of things that's transpiring into your life where people are starting to get really curious about you. You may have heard that a lot. Somebody be really curious about you or they're watching every single thing you do. You have to be careful, you know, because it's just different times in your life. And I always tell people when you leveling up, and light, there's, trust me, you always got a tracker. There's leveling up in dark. Everybody got a tracker. You, you know, you got a, uh, what they call that, a chlorine. You got uh, those different things that are like doppelgangers that are attracted to you in the worst kind of way. But those are the different ones where, you know, it's like a double-edged sword. Even though it'll be some bad things that they're trying to do, they don't, they don't realize. It'll be those people that are seeking to destroy you out into those situations, but not knowing they helping you. If you can be able to see the, you know, be able to see the subliminal in that situation it could be a person that's doing everything they do to block every good thing that's coming into your life because they see that you are that type of person like whoa they're starting to recognize their self they're starting to place more love into their self when they you know they were placing it in people they didn't even recognize who they were they didn't know you they didn't want to know you they they want to keep you hidden you know they wanted you to stay you know low they wanted you to stay docile they didn't want to see you grow you know, anything that it'll be different things where you always seeing how somebody was always worshipped. Like this person does this, or you probably been that person that where you grew up where everybody was always getting praised, but you were all that one. Oh yeah, you know Becky's doing this, and oh Peter's doing this. Oh yeah, but there's Maxwell. He was just, you know, be that person. It'll be just like them. Like hey, I got you know this idea and this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Go ahead and go back to what you were doing. And it'll be those different things that's taking place into your life where this is that time for you to grow but you this is those times for you to make moves in silence now everybody need to know point a to point b to point c everybody holds secrets you need to start holding yours too you know these are the different things where you bring growth into your life you breathe in different transmits uh aspects into your life that's really going to catapult you but these are those different times where you need to take time for yourself i used to be that type of person that's just like i would make announcements saying hey you know i'm taking time out for self-care and then be just trying to understand where so I said my cast, <laughs> that was a, a different confirmation. Where I all of a sudden I had a lot of hell coming through my life. I had different things coming to me. You know, taking time to meditate and then wondering why all hell breaking loose into my life, breathing doubt into my life, making me second my guess myself because I was I was telling things that I shouldn't have to tell. If I want to step back, I say everybody, you know, I don't have to be on YouTube and, and social media 24/7. I stopped doing that. I used to always announce things. I was always wanting to share things and just wonder why there was either things that either slowed down or stopped or I lost interest or you know it was people that really wanted to work with me and then next thing you know word of mouth or whatever and then next thing you know people didn't want to support me anymore. Different people didn't want to believe in me anymore. And those are the different things. But now it's just at the time when you're making these powerful moves and people really watching, it's like, Dad, they may be, may be up to something here. Or, Dad, that person 
may have been telling the truth the whole time or this is a person that they seen something in the light like that and they want to keep them in the dark this is at that time tell you move in silence there's a lot of things that you move in, you moving not everybody needs to know about you know it's like i tell people when you go in like in a twin flame relationship you go into the union that's the most secretest thing you ever when i tell you that is something you should never ever tell anybody about you going into union this is something that's ordained by god you got kingdom spouses and stuff out here. People are trying to do everything they can to keep y'all apart. And the devil already know. If there's somebody who's meant to be together, two souls are supposed to be together, they're going to do everything they can to keep y'all apart to make sure that's not happening. You know? And it's just like that. And it's sad it has to be in a world where we have to be, you know, people place you in competition or what compete can never compare. You know, you, you, you're not, you're on your own path where nobody can ever compare your life to anybody. You're in competition with your own self. I always tell people, I'm not in competition with anybody. People be putting you in there, and I'm just like, oh, you want that mess. I don't, I don't get into that. I don't compete against nobody. I used to have different situations where I was like that. Hell, I used to be in a situation where I was doing stuff like that. You know, but I, like I real recognize real. I tell people I'm very transparent with that. I used to be that type of person. I was very low vibing. I would breathe ne negativity in my own life. I would sit up here and talk negativity and breathe that into my life and wonder why stuff happened the way it did. You know, and now it's at that point where, you know, it's like, hey, you know, I may be going through some stuff right now. I may be feeling stagnant. I may be feeling stuff, but maybe it's just my mindset on why I'm like that. You know, the devil be want to make make you feel like God lying on you or God ain't going to do something good into your life because he sees that's coming. You may be going through a lot of hellish stuff right now, and it'll be just like that, but you're coming through a breakthrough on something. And it's just always like that because anytime you don't, you, enemies will sit up here and know about your blessing before you do. You have to be able to be mindful of that. There will be a lot of things. You, you can't even tell family on different things. You go, hey, what you got going on? What you doing this? I heard this and this and that. Oh, you did? You can keep a secret? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, so can I. And just keep on going. You ain't got to be able to announce different things. They'll know about it when the, when the fact is you don't sit up here and put it on the table. Hey, I got this and this and this going on. You didn't tell me I could have helped you do it. Yeah, you would have been that one. You could have helped to sit up here and make sure everything was destroyed. You know, and you're going through those different things into your life where different changes are coming in. People are being very curious about you. There's being different things said about different things where people are trying to destroy you. And not knowing that's going to be your ultimate deliverance. So you keep moving in silence. Keep things to yourself. You know, journal if you have to. Video your diary if you have to. But just keep those different things to yourself. And if there's different things, it's like, hey, don't talk about that. Or, hey, don't shoot this out. Or, hey, you know, just, just keep it to yourself. You go ahead and do that. Because everything don't need to be announced that you're taking place into your life. And there's a lot of times you got to keep things in the dark until you, you know, you're you're able to be in that, in that mode where you are exact point to go ahead and project it into the light. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Uh, much love to you. Would love to give a shout out to Onisha Newman, Farah, as well as uh, Angela Campbell, and um, Essie Jabril. Much love to you as well. So I hope y'all are having a blessed life weekend. Please be responsible and safe in every single thing you do, even if this comes out through the week. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. You know, you keep growing, you keep showing, you know, proving a lot of things to yourself, not proving a lot of things to other people. This is that time where you're making your own self proud. So much love to you. Please, uh, even through social distancing, give out love, light, positivity, words, wise frequencies. You never know all these things to really take you a long way. And um, what was I going to say? Uh, much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say peace. Much love to you. And... Uh, Blessed be. Much love.